The family of a Neosho, Missouri girl who recently drowned on Shoal Creek wants to draw attention to the danger of low head dams. Linda Simmons has more on their mission. 12 year old Kaylin Brown's uncle says she came here to Lime Kiln Park on May 26th to play in the water and celebrate the last day of school. It ended up being the last day of her life. I was a big part of their life, her life and the other three. Kaylin was the daughter of Matthew Brown's twin brother. He'll never forget the gut wrenching call and the five day search for her body in Shoal Creek. Went out in kayaks and looked every day. Signs warn of a dangerous current, but he says people don't understand. I don't think they do, or else there wouldn't be as many people swimming here. He says Kaylin was waiting near the dam and got too close. They didn't realize that in, in a split second, the water can raise and it becomes a killing machine. It, it'll just pull you in and you can't get out. Family friend Trevor Hicks tried to save Kaylin and lost his life too. They're just the latest victims at Lime Kiln Dam. Most recently, two men drowned at the spot in 2015. People get caught in the low head dam's circulating current like this fishing bobber. It shouldn't have took that. It shouldn't take any drowning for our city officials and our state officials to protect our safety. The city of Neosho owns the 1940s dam, which pools water for the city's drinking water supply. It already has plans to reconstruct Lime Kiln Dam, adding a rock ramp on the lower side in conjunction with the state and U.S. Fish and Wildlife. Below the dam, what they will do is go in there and build, a, build rock structures that, uh, that will make it flow more like, uh, like rapids. So, you know, canoes can pass over, boats can pass over. City manager David Kennedy says they're just beginning the project engineering. The rock ramp will help wildlife movement and safety. I think it would be something that the uh, other communities that have this type of structure would take note, get with their uh, local conservation departments. Uh, there is funding available out there for these types of projects. Of course, Matthew wishes the project was already done and Kaylin was still here. And it needs to be done to every low head dam in the state of Missouri. Matthew says he's been talking with a state representative and the Department of Conservation hoping to get no swimming signs posted in that area.